Hey what's up guys, this is Hemant from Team Gad Mode. After bringing the Canvas 2, Micromax now extends its Canvas series with the launch of a new budget smartphone, Canvas 1. Micromax Canvas 1 is announced in two color variants, matte black and chrome black. Both the variants of the phone are available across all offline channels at Rs 6999. We have the chrome black with us for review. With the Micromax Canvas 1, the company is offering 100-day replacement promise on any hardware issue. It is also the first smartphone to come with a 100-day replacement promise on any hardware issue which is part of the one-year product warranty. The box looks hefty and seems to be having some goodies along with the device and accessories and gives a premium look at first impressions. Let's unbox the pack by sliding the first cover and opening up the box you are presented with the device itself. Let's quickly unwrap the cover to get the first looks. Here is the first time ever best and gorgeous design from Micromax. Can we call this as a small brother of iPhone 7? It's stunning and chrome black looks more off than a matte black variant. You can almost call it a premium looking phone at 7K and is really a surprise from the company. This shows Micromax has increased its focus on the budget segment to regain the lost market share. Being the domestic company, which was among the top smartphone makers in India a few years ago, has been overshadowed with the rise of Chinese players such as Oppo, Vivo and Xiaomi among others. Let's check out the box content which comes along with the device. As expected, there is a crystal clear, soft, transparent back cover. It's definitely of good quality and will save around 200 rupees for you. Also, you will get a scratch guard and not a tempered glass but it's fine as the edges of the device are 2.5D curved, you will not get a perfect fit tempered glass anyway. It's good that Micromax has provided all these even though being a low budget phone. There are Micromax branded sticker, you can stick these on the back of the phone. Just a branding promotion from Micromax here. There is a user manual and charging adapter, USB cable and earphones which has a pretty much sturdy build. Micromax, you are on the right track for success. Let's quickly keep the box content aside and look towards the build quality and design aspect of the phone. As earlier said, even though at first look it resembles iPhone 7, specifically in terms of ergonomics, this phone does not have any comparison between them starting from its price or specifications, software, hardware or any other aspect apart from its looks. It's unique in every aspect and it's commendable that Micromax is trying something different in each of its new releases. The display is 5 inch HD display with a screen resolution of 1280 x 720 pixels and it has a 2.5D curved glass and there is no information about the display protection like Corning Gorilla etc. We will find it out and cover it in our review soon. The back cover here is removable and it's made out of plastic and it has a glossy finish to make it look a bit expensive and stylish as well. Underneath lies a battery house and just above it a dual nano sim slot along with a dedicated expandable memory slot through which you can expand up to 32 GB. Internal memory of the phone is 16 GB and it's fair enough. The battery is 2500 mAh and let's insert the battery in its place and close the cover off. It's very rare nowadays to see a removable battery apart from LG and a few made in India devices still having the classical way. Coming to the design factor, bottom of the device has dual speaker grill at both the sides and the USB port at the center. Top of the device has the 3.5mm audio jack and nothing else. Left side of the phone has a button which is not a power button and it's a dedicated camera shutter button which you can use it as an alternative for the software shutter icon. And this additional shutter button will actually be helpful while holding the mobile in horizontal angle while capturing photos. The right side of the phone has volume rockers and power button. Though it's of plastic, again, it performs well. At the back, it has an 8 megapixel camera with dual color temperature flashlight with 80 degree wide angle view and works on different rear camera modes such as beauty mode, time lapse, watermark and HDR. There is a Micromax branding at the back as well. On the front, it's a 5 megapixel camera with 85 degree wide angle view at the left side and at the center it's earpiece. Bottom front has the capacitive navigation buttons which seems to be a backlit one. Let's switch on the device and see how's the initial impressions of the software. By the way, Canvas 1 is powered by MediaTek MT6737 quad-core processor clocked at 
1.3 GHz along with the 2 GB RAM. The device has support for OTG providing access to mass storage and can be connected to the serial communications such as keyboards or mouse, game controllers and can easily import photos from a camera. And the phone also supports 4G Volte, Wi-Fi, micro USB and Bluetooth. When switched on, the phone is greeted with Android 7.0 Nougat and custom UI from Micromax. The UI version 1.0 looks all different this time, starting from the icons to the everything on screen. The UI has all good features like multi-window support, notification direct replies, bundled notifications, customized quick settings, control pad that enables to control all quick toggles with a swipe. The display looks colorful and vibrant with all new refreshed icons and skin layout. There is no app drawer this time and Micromax following the latest trend in removing the classical app drawer. Let's look at the settings menu and move towards about phone section to see the software and hardware details here. As you can see it has an in detail information listed out here. We will get back with the in depth details of the software features like freeze app, quick settings etc very soon. At the initial impressions, phone looks promising and much needed for the company to survive and compete with the Chinese in India. Does this grab the budget market which Micromax used to lead once? Does this bring back the Micromax era? Well, the sales on says. That's all for now. We shall get back with another tech review shortly. Stay tuned. And hit thumbs up if you like the video and do not hesitate to share with your friends. Do subscribe if you are looking for more such wonderful unbiased tech reviews coming soon. Also, if you are a social bird, do get connected with us in Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or Instagram. Let's be in touch.